SpaceX has become a household name over the past few years, with its innovative and groundbreaking approaches to space travel. However, even the best laid plans can go awry. With all of its success, SpaceX has encountered its fair share of challenges, setbacks, and changes in recent months. Welcome back to our channel. Today's video is going to be an interesting one because we are going to talk about changes in SpaceX's Starship plan. Without further ado, let's get started. It's true that SpaceX is a company that never seems to slow down. With so many projects in the works, it can be hard to keep up with all the latest developments. But one thing is for sure, SpaceX is charging ahead with its plans for Starship, with at least 5 mega rockets planned for 2023. The recent sighting of Ship 25 moving into the MASS's test site is just the latest example of the company's relentless pace. This new site, located at Starbase, is set to become a hub for testing and developing new spacecraft, including the Starship. Of course, all of this activity comes with its fair share of challenges, from the recent setbacks with the Dragon launch to the constant changes and revisions to the Starship program. SpaceX is constantly pushing the boundaries of what is possible in space travel. But despite the challenges, the company remains committed to its goals of colonizing Mars and making space travel more accessible and sustainable. And with each new test, each new launch, and each new innovation, SpaceX brings us one step closer to realizing that dream. It seems like every week there's a new development in the world of SpaceX. This time, it's the news that the company has acquired a gun range near Starbase for use as a rocket test facility. According to Elon Musk, the founder of SpaceX, the Macy's gun range is the perfect location for Raptor engine testing and repairs. The new site is located approximately 15 minutes away from the launch sites along the same Highway 4 road, making it a convenient addition to the company's infrastructure. This news is just the latest in a series of moves by SpaceX to expand its presence in the area. Since operations began in 2019, the company has attracted hundreds of tourists to Boca Chica Beach, who come to see the Starbase launch site and enjoy the surrounding area. For local residents, the acquisition of Macy's Gun Shop and Range is a significant development. The gun range was a popular spot for target practice activities, and many people in the area have fond memories of spending time there. But despite the changes, there's still good news for those who enjoy shooting. The local shooting range is still open at a different location along the state Highway 4 road that leads to Starbase, ensuring that people in the area will still have a place to practice their skills. Overall, the acquisition of Macy's Gun Shop and Range is just another example of SpaceX's relentless drive to push the boundaries of what's possible. As the company continues to expand its infrastructure and capabilities, it's clear that the future of space travel is looking brighter than ever before. As for the Starship prototypes, Ship 25 has been moved to the Macy's test site for cryoproofing tests. These tests will simulate the thermal and mechanical loads the vehicle will experience when filled with propellant. If Ship 25 can pass these tests, it may skip preliminary tests and move straight to a six-engine static fire test. This would be a significant milestone for the current Starship design, indicating that SpaceX is confident in the vehicle's capabilities. Meanwhile, Ship 26, a naked prototype, is also undergoing cryogenic proof tests. This prototype is four months younger than Ship 25 and has already had Raptors installed. If it can pass the simpler tests, it will return to the Starbase factory for further testing and Raptor installation. But it's not all smooth sailing for SpaceX. The company recently had to scrub a launch attempt of the NASA SpaceX Crew-6 mission to the ISS due to a ground systems issue. Mission teams stood down to investigate an issue that prevented data from confirming a full load of the ignition source for the Falcon 9 first stage Merlin engines. NASA Administrator Bill Nelson praised the teams for their focus and dedication to safety, reminding us all that human spaceflight is an inherently risky endeavor. In the end, every step taken by SpaceX must be carefully considered and executed, but with each successful test and launch, the company moves closer to its goal of making space travel accessible to all. NASA and SpaceX have postponed the launch of the Crew-3 mission due to unfavorable weather conditions. 
Meanwhile, a separate transportation issue has been affecting astronauts on the International Space Station. A coolant leak in the Russian Soyuz spacecraft necessitated a replacement vehicle. The primary goal of the Soyuz MS-23 mission is to replace the damaged Soyuz MS-22 spacecraft that was launched in September 2022. It's not yet clear what caused the technical damage during the manufacturing process, but a hole in the external cooling loop of the spacecraft was found to be the issue. In other news, UIA has announced that the first Vulcan launch will take place in May. The company selected this date based on the remaining tests of the rocket and its main engines, as well as launch windows for its primary load. The primary payload on the launch is Peregrine, which has a window of only a few days each month to fly its trajectory to the moon. UIA and Blue Origin are finishing the formal qualifications of the BE-4 engine, which is currently the pacing item for the launch. The engine has been disassembled, and engineers conclude that the higher performance observed during a qualification test was just unit-to-unit -unit variation and not a problem with the engine itself. Overall, these developments demonstrate the ongoing challenges of space exploration and the importance of safety and thorough testing in this field. On that note, I'll end this video here. I hope you like it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Ciao.